Good morning, everybody. Alan, nice moves at the back of the room there, pal. <laughs> that was lovely. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Very good morning. Welcome to the Infant Celebration Assembly Bubble Edition. Before we get started, I want to share with you all a couple of wonderful pieces of work that we've had come in from home. So on the right hand side of the screen, a slightly smaller picture, we have the life cycle of a frog as drawn by Zoya from Penguins. Zoya's done an amazing job here of looking at the uh, frog spawn and how it turns into tadpoles with some amazing notes to go with it. Zoya, beautiful piece of work, young lady. Well done, thank you very much. On the left-hand side of your screen, you've got um, Jason from Kangaroos, who's done some measuring at home. And then on the right of that, there's some wonderful comparisons so that he has said which of the rooms is the longest and which is the shortest. Well done, Jason. <laughs> You've also got here, Miriam from Zebras, some science work on transparency, going around the house and comparing different objects to see how, um, whether they are opaque, translucent or transparent. Beautifully done, Miriam. That's a lovely piece of work. Thank you very much for bringing, uh, for emailing that in. To all of those of you at home, if you're watching from home, if you're doing any work and you would like us to share it next week, next Friday Celebration Assembly, please, please, please email it to your class teachers. They'll pass it to me and we'll include it for next week as well. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. So this morning, I want to share with you some ideas about keeping health for the last of the week. Keeping healthy, I want to focus on three areas today. Diet, exercise and relationships. So eating healthily, probably something we're very practical with and we know a lot about. But a little reminder that a healthy diet is a balanced diet. A balanced diet is a healthy diet. And what that means is having a balance between all the different types of food groups. So Proteins are crucial for healthy growth. So your proteins are things such as meat and fish, beans, eggs, soy, nuts too, but please remind that we don't have uh, any nuts in school. We're a nut-free school to keep everyone safe. Treats are okay. I love my treats. Um, I, I can assure you I'll be having some this weekend. However, remember it's about a balance, not too many, and it's about having those fruits and vegetables as well. Good sources of energy, which we all need at the moment, even in this heat, but come from carbohydrates such as pasta, rice, potatoes, and bread and again in this heat but all the time it's essential that we drink lots of water so please remember to bring water bottles in and make sure you're drinking lots throughout the day exercise exercise is crucial too to be healthy exercise is important for our physical development our emotional well-being and our sleep and we yeah if anyone's like me is finding it difficult at the moment exercise will help us it's suggested that all children should exercise 60 minutes a day. So some ideas that you might want to consider include walking, cycling, scooting or playing ball games, perhaps doing relay races in your garden. However, if it's really hot and you're struggling or you don't have space to get out, don't forget there's plenty you can still do inside. So dancing, um, circuit exercises like jumping, sit-ups, push-ups, squats and bits and pieces like that. And don't forget there is a um, magnificent, if not slightly embarrassing, video on the website of the school staff doing a number of exercises so you can follow along with one of those if you're short of ideas. The final bit 
of um, keeping healthy is about our relationship. It's about keeping our minds healthy. And healthy relationships are vital to keep us feeling good and our overall health. So what do we need to be in healthy relationships with our, our parents, with our friends, with our teachers, with people we see each day? We need to remember to be kind. We know, need to earn and, and show trust in people. We need to care. We need to be understanding of one another and make sure that we're honest. One of the suggestions is to make time to talk to family and friends. So even though there are people who might be watching this who are at home and are not going out and not seeing people face to face, remember you can pick up the phone or video call. It's really important to have those conversations with people in your lives, your friends and your family in and outside of your home. OK, so there's a little bit on keeping healthy for us all to think about as we move to the weekend. And now we can move to our wonderful stars of the week. So up first from Mrs. Dyde's Bubble Group. Congratulations to Daisy. Daisy, oh, I beg your pardon, we've, sorry. Daisy, I'm so sorry. I don't know where the um, script has gone for that. Uh, Mrs. Dyde will pass you your certificate and I will make sure we have that at the end. I'll come back to you, Daisy, right at the end. I'm so sorry, lovely. But round of applause for Daisy. Well done for being the star. Omar from Mrs. Will's Bubble Group. Well done, Omar. You are star of the week. You have been trying very hard to join in on the carpet, especially in phonics time. Uh, Mrs. Wills has been impressed with your artwork too. Your colouring and cutting skills are brilliant. Keep it up, young man. Well done, Omar. Round of applause. From Mrs. Russell and Mrs. Lewis's bubble group, Oscar. Well done, Oscar, on another fabulous week in year R. Your ability to listen to all the sounds that make up a word is very impressive, and this skill will help you to write great sentences and does. You've been joining in ideas using the word and. Also, you are a super friend to others and full of imaginative ideas. Finally, a thank you for keeping us up to date with all the latest football scores. I hope you know what happened last night. Um, and practice and making them practice their ball skills. Oscar, you are a superstar. Well done, young man. You are the star of the week. For Mrs. Broomfield and Mrs. Watson, it's Ryan. Ryan, well done for a fantastic week. You have come to school with more confidence each day and have enjoyed Prince and Princess Week. You are remembering your sounds to read and write and have enjoyed telling stories. It has been great to see you playing with your friends um, and dancing at the Cinderella Ball. Well done, you. From Miss Uphold and Mrs. Taylor, Georgios. Georgios, you're our star of the week for settling back into school so well, always being helpful and always listening to instructions. Thank you from Miss Upbold and Mrs. Taylor. Well done, you. For Mrs. Miles and Miss Jones, it's Isla. Isla, well done for such an amazing week. You constantly work hard, try your best and challenge yourself with your learning. From your great sports skills to your creative Titanic collage, well done Isla from all of us, especially Miss Miles and Miss Jones. From Miss Lees, Alan, the super dancer at the back of the room. Alan has worked so hard this week and should be very proud of himself. During maths, he was able to show o'clock and half past and use the time song to remember the difference between the hour and minute hand with some amazing singing too. In science, we were learning about different materials and Alan used fantastic adjectives to describe objects such as opaque and transparent. Alan also showed excellent creative work in art during the imagination workout where he drew fantastic pictures of mistakes. Miss Lees especially liked his trident. Alan is always so chatty and an absolute pleasure to have in our little bubble. Well done to Alan. Then for Miss Kay, our last star is Jemima. Well done, Jemmy, you are star of the week. You have been arriving to school with a lovely smile on your face and you always try your hardest with all your work. Although you missed the beginning of the collage unit, you didn't let this stop you and you still listen well in order to create a great Titanic collage. Keep up the great work. Very well done to Jemmy, well done you. So before I disappear, let me see if I can find very quickly, my apologies, the one that didn't show for some reason. Give me one second, everybody.
So, Mrs. Dives, it was Alex. It, the message is this. Alex, congratulations, Alex. You are star of the week. Mrs. Dives is so happy to see your effort improving each day since returning to school. You are showing a great attitude in lessons. Your division this week in maths was amazing. Let's give Alex a massive round of applause, everybody, as we had to come all the way back to start. Alex, well done, you. And well done to all of you for another fantastic week. Um, it's been lovely to see all your faces this morning. And please, a little a reminder again, those at home, keep sending in work to the school email. We'd love to see it. I'd really love to share that next week. Have a super day, everybody, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.